The other thing I'm going to get from this video is that the dog is having as well a sudden loss of muscle tone. So compared to an epileptic fit, uh, the dog is having atonia as opposed to increased muscle activity. And, and that will be a major differential between epileptic an epileptic fit and this type of event there. So before I tell you what it is, let's look at another video. The event that I want to, di to, to discuss there um, is very often triggered by excitement and what is more exciting for a dog than being fed. And as this dog is being fed, you're going to see that he's having this jerky movement and this dog is uh, going to fall asleep and having loss of muscle tone as well. Oh, he's falling asleep. So imagine if you got this condition, uh, you go to a restaurant uh, with a friend, they expect to have good company with you, and the main course arrive and you suddenly fall asleep. So we're checking the mucus membrane. But again, this dog, sudden loss of consciousness, sudden loss of muscle tone. And what you see there is an example of narcolepsy. And what is narcolepsy? It is a chronic sleep disorder. Uh, that is characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness. So basically, you fall asleep at inappropriate time when, in theory, um, if you go to day job, you should fall asleep in the evening. Um, there is a, a, a lot of... Um, it is quite complex disorder in terms of what is the mechanism of that, but to simplify it is a defective uh, hypocretin, also known as orexin neurotransmission. And, and this hypocretin is a hypothalamic neuropeptide. 